Hi everyone. It is April 24, 2019. World Health Organization, the United Nations, has come out and recommended one hour maximum screen time per day for under five years of age. Those who are between the ages of two and four should not be allowed more than one hour of sedentary screen time. Oh, yes. They don't point out the dangers of these frequencies. They are talking about all of the chronic um, conditions that children and adolescents have now are related to those children just sitting around staring at a screen. It's the lack of physical exercise. Well, there is clearly a lack of physical exercise in all age groups, but they don't mention anything about the frequencies, which I find remarkable. No, microwave frequencies, microwave radiation into the skull of children, uh, children that don't have their skull developed yet, which means that their skull is much thinner than an adult, and these frequencies go into that skull far more easily than adults skull. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Um, well, let me just play a few minutes of this. There are now 26 million mobile phones being used in Australia and the debate about the possible dangers of using a mobile continues to build. Now some cancer survivors are calling for governments to take the drastic step of banning all mobile phone use for children under 16 and for the rest of us to text instead of call. Laura Sparks has this exclusive report. My tumour was uh, just here, hence um, there's a scar there. Tumours in the left frontal lobe, um, which was basically around there. It was like there. Um, about that big, just here. You start at the ear and go straight into your brain, and that's your auditory nerve, and it, it grows around that. They share a bond. They have the same scars, the same dreaded x-rays. Reminders of where their brain tumours once were. They're from different suburbs, cities and social circles. Yet they all got tumours near their ear. And they all blame the same thing. I use my phone about two hours a day. The area that it was, was here and... I mean, you put two and two together. I believe it's a... Um a lot of heavy mobile phone use. I just hope it's in my lifetime that um, phone companies are held accountable um, for this damage. Emily Sefton had the most to lose. She was diagnosed with a brain tumour when her son Jesse, now two, was just 11 weeks old. I was just devastated. I just remember dropping my son off to my mother-in-law and I just thought, you know, am I, am I going to see him again? The International Agency for Research on Cancer recently declared mobile phones as a possible cause of cancer. I feel vindicated in some respect. This latest admission doesn't surprise former mobile phone salesman David Smith. He first spoke to Today Tonight three years ago. So David, the tumour was just here, is that right? Behind your ear? That's right, behind my right ear. Lately, there's been conflicting reports about mobile phone use. Some saying they do pose a risk, others saying there's no problem at all. But in the fine print of the World Health Organization's latest report, it states that heavy users of mobile phones, now that's people that use mobile phones for half an hour a day for more than 10 years, triple their risk of getting a brain tumour. I just would hate for people watching this right now in 10 years time to go far out, why didn't I take note? Why didn't I listen? I honestly believe that I'm in this position right now with this tumour because I've overused my phone. Last year, we filmed Anna Tarrant's tumour removal. Seven months on, she suffers from fatigue, short-term memory loss, migraines, and like the others, has the ever-present threat that the tumour will grow back. 
Christian Giorgio had his tumour cut out nine months ago. What worries do you have? That it's, it's going to become an, another epidemic. There were others who couldn't make our filming. Aaron Rose suffered a seizure that night. Truy Bottoms had chemotherapy that day. And then there's former television producer Romaine Udale. And well, yeah. it's, it's a new club, which unfortunately I'm part of. She had to go into surgery the day before we filmed because the tumour taken out seven months ago had already started to grow back. If someone had told me that years ago, I would have welcomed that in information and not abused the mobile. Having emerged from round two of brain surgery, Brumain, now an executive coach, is keen to get the message out. OK, I'm going to time myself today. How many minutes have I been on the mobile phone? With no cure available for brain tumours, neurosurgeon Charlie Teo is worried about the possible link. We're seeing the increase in frequency of tumours in the insular region, which is this region right here, the temporal lobe, the frontal lobe. So it's right there where you hold your phone. Another neurosurgeon, Richard Bittar, advises to text or only use a mobile on speakerphone. And he has this warning for parents. It's a pretty big gamble to let a child use a mobile phone at this point in time. And it's this message that these four brain tumour sufferers want to lobby government about. I just want parents to be more aware of radiation and the possible effects it can have on their child's brain. For any child under 16 they should only be able to text unless they're calling triple zero or their parents. I mean don't take the risks with mobile phones, we don't know what they're doing yet. I would have definitely lessened my mobile phone usage if I could have turned back the clock. So how is it that we get the World Health Organization saying that children under five years of age should only have one hour maximum screen time when brain tumors have been associated with a 30 minute half hour, a half hour use per day for 10 years and then your risk is a brain tumor it exponentially increases just with a half hour. Oh, I so wish we could go back to the days you know, when I see people using landlines now, it's like exciting. You know, you just wish you could go back to those days. Because those days were far less stressful. Now an executive. They were far less stressful. Anyway, I'll link below to the article in the video. Have a good day.